Hello, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on Versailles Park. My name is Margot Branice, Park Planning Specialist for the City of St. Albert. The majority of this video is going to be on this exciting park development, but I am going to take a few minutes just to talk about Ville Giroux neighborhood in general. So the development of St. Albert neighborhoods always starts with council approving an area structure plan. This lays out what a neighborhood is going to look like when fully developed. Let's talk a little bit about Ville Giroux. Ville Giroux in total is 30 hectares. A minimum of 10% of that land is always dedicated to parks, trails and open space. So in Ville Giroux, there's three hectares of parks. Ville Giroux has a combination of commercial, mixed use and residential developments with an expected population of about 1400 residents. Ville Giroux is a relatively small neighborhood and to give you a bit of a comparison, Northridge is 144 hectares and Oakmont is 150 hectares. So again, relatively small. Another important document is a park master plan. So after an area structure plan is approved, the city develops a park master plan and lays out what the future parks could look like in the neighborhood. The aim of the city is to build a diversity of parks to meet the wide range of interests and needs of residents. Let's talk about Ville Giroux and what parks are going to be developed. We have four parks, one, two, three, four. Not going to talk much right now about Versailles Park because we're going to go into detail about that. Vandeleur Park here is almost complete by the developer. It will have some future minor enhancements that involve um, looking at a legacy for the firefighters as well as a naturalized pollinator garden. Vandeleur has some tree, key trail connections to Lacombe neighborhood also. Over here, we have Neighborhood Park 3. Neighborhood Park 3 and 4 are not named yet, but will be as the streets come on board. Neighborhood Park 3 will involve a concrete plaza area that will be great for community gatherings, as well as playing basketball, ball hockey, chalk play. The remainder of the site will be a small off-leash dog area. Over here, Neighborhood Park 4 will involve some a loop of small bike trails, some play features, as well as a communal picnic area. If you are interested in seeing more about these documents, the area structure plan and the park master plan, they can be found on this site under key documents. Okay, let's get to the exciting stuff and talk about the Versailles Park design. To give you a quick orientation, this is north. So up here is Giroux Road and you'd be coming in from Versailles Avenue. As you can see, Versailles Park is a huge focal point for this neighborhood. To explain a bit about the concept, you'll see lots of trees, lots of shrubs. The aim is to give a real warm, welcoming feel. We have great trail connections on both sides, you'll see, of the park. Great trail connections to either side of the neighborhood and also a future trail connection to Lacombe Lake Park. In the middle is an open passive area. Great for kicking the ball, playing frisbee, playing catch, bringing your picnic blanket, meeting some friends. We have a sliding hill over here, plus some bermed area, so higher level ground to give it sort of an amphitheater feel. Over here is the exciting play area. So we have a small playground that will have features for children aged two to 12 years old, a seating area that will be great to watch children in both sides, and a water feature 
that will allow children to interact with water splashing, floating boats, and cooling off in hopefully some hot summer days that we have. So how do we get from that concept plan to a park being constructed? As I've said, we have the um, Villejuru Park Master Plan, and that has concepts of all the parks. That really helps guide us when parks are ready to be developed. When a park is ready, it is really dependent upon the development of the neighborhood. You'll see park three and four really are not in developed areas yet, so they'll come on in the future. Versailles Park, we have a concept plan that we're ready to take to construction. We're really happy to be working with the developer to bring Versailles Park on board as soon as possible. We know that it's hard when you're in a new neighborhood, there's a lot of construction and there often isn't parks ready to be played with. We're really happy we want to bring Versailles Park to construction this year. Our next step though is detailed design. Detailed design really involves making all those specific decisions on the amenities, the size of them, the location, the layout, looking at if we need utility connections. Obviously for a water feature, we need a water line. Looking at how high the sliding hill is going to be, what kind of trees, what kind of shrubs, where we put the benches in. All of those things help us get ready for construction. Obviously budget for construction and for maintenance is really high priority for us also. We have looked at many amenities for Versailles Park, such as larger amenities of soccer um, fields and outdoor rinks. And Versailles Park is quite small. So those large amenities would be too large for Versailles Park and really take up the whole park space. So we hope to be completed for more detailed design at the end of April. That gets us ready for construction. So exciting. Construction will happen summer and fall 2021 with the opening of the majority of the features in 2021. There may be some where weather impacts us and we'll have to open some of them in spring 2022, but we're really hoping the weather cooperates with us this year. So what do we need from you? We need you to get involved. We want to hear from you. There is a survey on this site until February 10th that will really help us get some feedback so we can refine the park plan for Versailles Park. If you want to stay informed about the project updates and how we're doing, please subscribe to stay informed. If you have a specific question, you can also submit those questions to the site. So I hope this video has helped you and educated you about the process and what we have planned for Versailles Park and encouraged you to complete the survey. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.